Hello guys, in my last video I told you I will upload a video How can you update your camera firmware? What is a firmware? Inside your camera is a microprocessor, means a small computer that uses software stored on non removable flash memory inside your camera. This is a card firmware and is the operating system of your camera which allows you to control the features and functions with the camera's menus and buttons. If you have never updated firmware on your Nikon DSLR or mirrorless cameras or have not performed an update for a long time, you might want to check if a new firmware is available for your camera. Some photographers argue that they don't feel the need to, to touch camera firmware since they don't have any problem with their cameras and everything seems to be functioning properly. I personally feel that why not to run the latest and greatest camera software and why would you resist adding more functions to your camera especially if those functions are available to you at no charge. If you agree with me then you should check the firmware you are running today and what firmware is currently available from Nikon. In some cases it is best to wait for at least 2 to 3 weeks after the brand new firmware update is released. Although Nikon has a very good history and reputation when it comes to firmware releases. Let us watch how can we update Nikon firmware version. Check the firmware in your camera. Go to camera menu then settings then select firmware. On Nikon DSLRs Write down the C and LD version numbers. On some camera, there will be A and B instead of C. The first number C represents camera firmware version, while the second number L represents lens firmware version for various in camera lens distortion corrections. You can see the version are 1.10 for the camera and 2.017 for the lens. If you are attempting to update firmware on Nikon mirrorless cameras such as G6 or Z7, you will see C for camera and LF for lens firmware versions. For updating, first we need to format memory card. Go to menu, go to settings, then go to format memory card. After formatting the card, I am taking out the card from camera. Open the internet browser, typing Nikon Download Center and click on the link of Nikon Download Center. In search section, I am typing D7500 because I am updating D7500 firmware. You can also search according to your camera model. Here are three options, manuals, firmware and software. Selecting firmware, you can see the both latest camera and lens firmware are here. I have already updated my camera firmware 1.00 to 1.10, but I need to update lens firmware 2.018 that my version was 2.017 Selecting Windows Operating System because I have Windows Operating System in my computer. Here is a warning written on the site. Release the lens while updating firmware so I will keep in my mind. Click on Accepting Agreement and then click on Download button. A zip file was downloaded into my computer. I am moving this file to my dad folder where I have already keep my other Nikon data. Unzip the downloaded file and DC data update folder is unzipped and the folder has file name nkld0218.bin file. Inserting my formatted memory card to computer card reader slot and copy the file with the extension bin to the memory card.
Before updating firmware, your battery should be fully charged. As you can see, here is it is fully charged. Now I am opening camera menu and here you can see LD version of firmware is 2.017. According to warning message, I am releasing my lens from the camera and power of my camera and inserting memory card with updated file to camera. Now go to again camera settings. Select firmware. You can see here is an option to update. Select the update. Before updating, it is showing both version that was in the camera and the new one that is going to update. Selecting yes, the update will begin and follow the instruction. Confirm the update and it was updated successfully. Check the lens distortion control data version as shown before and check the latest LED version. It was updated successfully 2.0172 2.018. Now I am deleting the firmware update file. Yes, and it is deleted now. It is a very easy process, but if you have any doubt or hesitation and don't understand the procedure, then don't do by yourself. You can also take help from Nikon Service Center. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and also not forget to click on the bell. Now that's all for the today. Thanks for watching.